Dear Traveller and welcome. Today we're having a quick look at the Ricoh GRD3. I've mentioned this camera in some other videos but I decided to make a video on its own because it's such a great and capable camera. Now can I just make it clear, if you've come here to see a review on the Ricoh GR3 then you may be disappointed as this is the Ricoh GR Digital 3. But now that you're here, stay and check this beast out as it could save you a few clams in your Velcro Mambo wallet. So let's get into it. The GRD3 was introduced in 2009 and sported a smoking hot 10 megapixel CCD sensor, the famous 28mm lens at f1.9 equivalent prime lens woohoo iso ranges from 64 to 1600 has an awesome adjustable snap focus feature just like the later models shoots raw and jpeg three inch screen and a built-in flash eat that gr3 okay enough of the geeky nerdy numbers what's the juicy goss on this bad boy well i can confirm that it's a certified ripper of a camera i've owned the newer gr2 and the grd3 and i can tell you that the grd3 is a very capable camera that takes stunning black and whites. It's quick to operate and the snap focusing gives it legend 5000 bonus points ultra gold edition status. Also worth noting, it can produce good color images, which we'll see in a minute. Be aware that the lighting needs to be good, like proper good. It won't be a nighttime run and gun smash the clarity post on insta 3 likes crying in bed kind of camera. It's just not built for that. So what is it built for? Glad you asked. Roll the shots. So who's this camera for? So this is the bit when you get told that it's for everyone but at the same time it's for no one and you leave more confused than when you got here. But you know I'm not like that, so let me level with you. If you own a GRD4, then there's not really any standout reason to get this, unless you're a collector. If you own a GR1, 2 or 3, that's the APS-C sized ones, then the GRD3 or 4 would be a good camera to try out a CCD sensor with. If you own a GRD1, but you want something a bit quicker with more adaptable snap focus, a bit more of a street shooter with the GRD3 will be a good second camera. If you own a GRD2, then tell me your thoughts, because I've heard mixed reviews about it and I've never played with one. If you don't don't own a Ricoh at all, then the GRD3 or 4 is a great camera to get your feet wet without spending a bomb. And it still has this phenomenal lens and shooting style. Well, that's it for me. Smash that comment section below because that's the best part about YouTube and I'll catch you on the next one.